Well, that, uh, that did not go well. Guys, this is Neon. This is gaming news on Clownfish Gaming, and uh, this is today's biggest gaming story. Ubisoft is telling people that they need to get comfortable with the idea that you don't own your games. Basically, this is uh, uh, another step in the direction to transition everything to live service, which a lot of gamers hate. But publishers of AAA titles love it because they can make money off of you every month every transaction, microtransactions. Why bother making a new game when you can just charge players 15, 20, $25 a month to play the same old game for 10 years and just you know put out uh, updates here and there? That's what they want, that's what they all want. And Ubisoft is uh, pretty, pretty uh, corrupt, I think, to begin with. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of Ubisoft. Uh, we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna talk about the reaction to it. We're going to talk about them getting roasted by GOG.com. I think that's that's pretty funny. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more gaming news, gameplay videos, and gaming adjacent uh, content. Uh, give us a, a like, give us a thumbs up, whatever, whatever, guys, whatever you do, you. Uh, we just really appreciate the support. So this is uh, this come from Gaming Bible. Many people covering it. Uh, there was a, an interview with uh, an Ubisoft executive. Uh, telling gamers to get comfortable with the idea that you don't own your games. Uh, big video game company execs keep winning the hearts of gamers worldwide with comments such as, get comfortable with not owning your own games. Over the last several several years, uh, video game purchases have been on the rise um, as physical media has been slowly pushed into the background. Owning digital video games has its benefits, but it's possible that a publisher could erase digital games from all existence with the push of a button, unlike physical media. That is true of any physical media. Um, and that that's one of the problems that people are having with services like Voodoo. And I think it was Sony, didn't they announce that a whole bunch of Warner Brothers stuff was gonna magically disappear? It doesn't matter if you buy it, doesn't mean you actually own it. It means you're basically leasing it for the time that they have it on their service and they can make changes to it whenever they want to. Um, so this was reported originally by The Gamer. Wow, okay. Uh, I actually thought it was uh, gamesindustry.biz had the, uh, the original, but anyway. Uh, Ubisoft's director of subscriptions, uh, Philippe Trembley, told Games Industry, yeah, it was, GamesIndustry.biz that consumers eventually got comfortable with not owning CD or DVD collections, and this shift in mindset needs to happen with gamers. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it definitely does not. One of the things we saw is that gamers are used to a little bit like DVD having and owning their games. That's the consumer shift that needs to happen, said Trembley. He went on to explain that while he understands gamers, apparently services such as Ubisoft Plus are the future and gamers can still access content whenever they like. That is unless a publisher decides to pull certain digital content. Of course, yeah, it's true. Um, so this writer, uh, Richard Lee Breslin says, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of what Trembley has said regarding physical and digital media. Yes, I know that digital content is on upward trajectory, and as a consumer, I value its convenience. That being said, I have not gotten comfortable with not owning physical content, and I don't plan to either. And I know I'm not the only one alone in that sentiment. Yeah, it's not just that. It's not about not owning your games. It's the fact that everything is, is going to be online and a, a service. Every video game is going to be a subscription service. You know, it's going to be MMORPGs, but everywhere. That's that's what they're planning on doing. So some of these, uh, you know, reports or concerns that people have about Grand Theft Auto 6, I think are pretty, pretty founded. I mean, it's not Ubisoft, but I can I can totally see Rockstar being like, yeah, people are going to play this game for the next 10 years. So let's charge them accordingly. Uh, I can see that. The reactions are not good. I, I got to pull this up, though, this, this tweet from GOG.com. You should feel extremely comfortable with owning your games on GOG. They're DRM free. I think that's awesome. Uh, that being said, nothing beats a physical copy. And I think consumers in general, a lot of uh, comic book readers and uh, you know anime fans and um, you know anyone who consumes media, they're they're starting to go back to physical media for this very reason because you don't know what is going to happen. You don't know if the rug is going to get pulled out from underneath you, right? You really don't. But let's uh, let's look at some other reactions here. Uh, Reed Southern has Ubisoft exec needs to get comfortable with people not buying their games. This is anti-consumer propaganda in a way to milk gamers generation after generation. 38,000 
likes. I agree. Uh, Nerd Wonder says, ha 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 ha, Ubisoft gonna have to get comfortable going bankrupt. What did they make current year that's good anyway? I don't know. Uh, wasn't it Assassin's Creed that was running banner ads inside the game, like during the gameplay, like you're playing the game and there's a freaking banner ad, pop-up ad? They got in trouble for that. Uh, manga common under construction. There's a reason why I decided to stop buying Ubisoft games. Start feeling comfortable with not owning the games they're playing. Screw that. Uh, Mayor Jade says, we all get comfortable with the idea of not owning our games when Ubisoft gets comfortable going bankrupt. Um, S.A. Rivera, well then, Ubisoft better get used to not having money. I am the cheese, says Ubisoft to all gamers. I hate all of you. Um, uh, let's see. TD says, well, in that case, Ubisoft needs to get comfortable with the idea of not owning my money. Yeah, this, is, this seems to be the sentiment, doesn't it? Uh, everybody's saying, hey, we're not going to support Ubisoft. If you're, if you're going to pull this and this is your attitude is that, uh, you know, gamers don't actually own their games, then we're going to have a problem here, guys. Um, yeah, Eddie Edwards says, I'm already super comfortable with not owning any Ubisoft games. Sierra Whiskey says, Ubisoft execs need to get comfortable with being effing unemployed. Uh, Oliver says, Ubisoft should get comfortable seeing this slam the door right in their face. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Foxcade says, that was a close call. We were getting dangerously close to people forgetting how dog shit Ubisoft actually is. A lot of people not happy with Ubisoft for various reasons. This is not going to endear them to gamers. Ubisoft is, I believe, uh, one of the worst game companies out there. I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> I just, I am not a fan of their business practices. Uh, they're kind of right up there with EA. I actually think EA is better than Ubisoft. But uh, there you go. Um, Raging Golden Eagle says, Joke's on you, Ubisoft. I've been not owning your games for over a decade already. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. But I love this uh, GOG take on it. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you think uh, Ubisoft just kind of uh, signed their death certificate uh, with gamers? Because I think that's, that's not a good take. Uh, Warner Brothers said something very similar not too long ago. They said that they want every one of their games to be a live service game. That is not a popular... That is not a popular opinion. This is why so many people are playing AA titles or playing indie titles. That's why I, I mostly buy indie titles at this point. I don't do the AAA thing because of this. Uh, this this kind of nonsense. This is what they're going to do. Because again, you know, when you're, you're a corporation, you're going you're gonna to corporate and you're going to always want more and more and more profit, even if it's not uh, realistic, even if it's not sustainable. And it's going to come at the expense of the consumer. And eventually they're going to walk away. I think they're totally going to walk away. I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will talk later.